Kevin here from DIYDork.com. Today I want to show you this dresser makeover I just finished that's inspired by old surf woody wagon. So check this out. So today I'm going to work on this old dresser I picked up from the Salvation Army. I actually bought two identical ones for 80 bucks, so we'll call this one $40. They're both in pretty good shape. The paint is definitely shot though. You can see it's peeling off and it's chipped everywhere. And then the whole thing just has kind of like, it looks like nicotine stains on there, so it's pretty ugly. I'm thinking it was always kind of an off-white color, but I want to go fresher and brighter. So what I'm going to do is style it after an old woody station wagon, like what you would have taken surfing back in, you know, 40s, 50s, 60s. I think that'd be kind of cool. So the plan is to sand the body down, smooth it out, repaint it white, okay? Then the drawers... The top two drawers and the bottom drawers, I'm going to paint either a mint green or kind of a light aqua to give it that kind of 50s feel. And then this third drawer right here, I'm going to strip it all the way down to wood and then stain it kind of a medium to dark color. And then I'm going to trim it out with some uh, wood, like a wood border, and maybe a little divider down the middle or something. And uh, to give it that woody look, and that would be a lighter color, so it would be sort of a two-tone wood. And then all the handles, I'll take them off, smooth them out, and then I want to paint them kind of a metallic silver or even like a chrome colored, so they kind of resemble like a door handle. So this thing will be styled after like a 1950s woody wagon. So it should be pretty cool. So first things first, let me go ahead and sand this thing down. Okay, I got my dresser back here ready to sand, so I pulled out the drawers so I can just mess with the body right now. And I threw on an 80 grit disc onto my little sander so I can get all the really rough parts of the paint, all the flat areas a lot quicker. And then the little nooks and crannies I might have to do by hand, okay? Once I get that done, this 80 grit's gonna be a little too rough, so I'm gonna throw on a 120 grit, and that will help smooth it out enough for primer and paint. So let me go ahead and mess with the body, then I'll have to sand the drawer faces, and then I'll also sand the handles, and then it'll all be ready to start painting up. Okay, everything is now sanded and it's ready to go. So the three drawers here are the ones that are going to get painted that kind of aqua green color. And uh, before I just slap paint on there, they need to get color blocked because since I sanded them so far down to the stain and the raw wood, it would bleed through the paint if I just left it alone. So I went ahead and I added paper and I taped them off and I'm going to use white spray paint primer to color block them. It's quick and easy and that uh, works great and then I can just put paint up right on top and it looks great. Okay, for this piece, this is the one that's going to get the uh, wood panel to it, okay? So I sanded it all the way down to clean, fresh wood, and I'm going to stain it a medium brown, and then I'll add my little trim pieces around it and a lighter colored wood. Okay, so then for the body, it's almost ready to go. I'm going to spray prime it as well just to hide all the little spots where I sanded down to the raw wood, but I can't quite do that just yet. It needs a little work on top. You can see there's some deep scratches here. There's a few gouges up front and even in the middle, and then there's more scratches over here. So I'm just going to take care of those with some Bondo, like you'd use on car fenders. It's a little trick I picked up on a cabinet maker's website. They said they liked using it better than wood filler, and I found the same thing. It just seems to sand a little easier and all that. So I'll go ahead and Bondo that. Once it's smooth, then I'll prime it as well. And then once they're all primed, I can paint that white, and I'll paint these the really cool green, and I'll start messing with this one with the stain and the little wood trim. So now that all the painting's done, all I gotta do is build the little wood panel drawer. So what I have is some wood stock here. It's half inch thick, inch and a quarter wide. It's made of pine, so it's a nice light color. So I'm just gonna build a border all the way around it, all right? Then divide that in half horizontally, and then in half vertically to give it that real legit woody look to it. And then uh, what I'll do is 
uh, test fit it all before I stain or anything like that, make sure it works. And then uh, the pine pieces are just going to get polyed so they stay nice and light. And then the drawer face itself is going to get some stain to darken it up and then it'll get polyed as well. So there'll be a real nice contrast to it. So I'll start working on this next. Check it out, here it is all finished. This thing turned out really cool. One of my favorite projects I've done in a while. This has a modern take on an old classic style. So the body is painted a semi-gloss white, which really freshened it up, and brightened it, made it look really nice and clean. And then the three drawer faces are painted that hipster green, which I was imagining like the color of a Coke bottle. So I think this is a pretty good representation of that, kind of a green meets teal meets gray. Then I have my little woody panel here which I just stained the drawer face a uh, red oak color and then I trimmed it in pine and then everything got some wipe on poly so I have a nice contrast and then with the little divider bars it looks like a real woody so that's kind of cool and then of course all the handles here were spray painted with that chrome spray paint which of course isn't you know real chrome but it does have a nice shine to it so it kind of looks like old chrome handles and uh, anyway it's just a really cool way to kind of kick off the summer here and uh, it's not like an over-the-top cheesy hokey version of a car style dresser where it has you know wheels glued to the side and like a windshield on it or something like that it's just a really clean kind of uh, modern take on that old style so anyway that is my woody dresser makeover hey thanks for checking out this video i really appreciate that if you liked it go ahead and hit that thumbs up that really helps get it out in front of other people that might like to check it out too and if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do that. Keep up with more videos. And if you want to see some other projects I have, I have some here on the screen and down in the description below as well.